What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We got another uh, Technique Tuesday happening right now. And in this video, what I want to specifically talk about is just the B string. All the different things that come out of being able to know the notes on the B string. When you first start playing and learning scales and chords, you're typically starting, and I recommend this, starting by learning the E string really well and the A string really well. You know, whether it be power chords. <laughs> Know all that or you're starting to learn your first scales you know it's all starts on the e and a string typically so let's look at the b string right now i'll just talk about what i was playing first off in the intro i was playing a basic g major to c major now you got classic chords like that but what i was doing was i was taking g major chord i know based on the b string and there's two that come right to mind the first one is just finding the root, and that's the point of this video. So if I said G major chord, I would wanna find a G note on the B string. It's right there on the eighth fret. And so I know that when I have that note right there, if I form this D major looking chord, that is now a major triad where that is the root. Just like with a D chord, that note there is a D note. That means if I played this, whatever note that is, it's a major triad. So that's E major, F, F major, G major. So one thing right off the bat is just being able to see that. Now that opens up the single note arpeggio based off of that root. That's a G major triad. Triads have the arpeggio off of it. But then the other beautiful thing is the G major chord where that major third is in the bass. And it comes from a C major shape with my index like the capo and not a C major. But if you look, C, D, E, F, G. So it's the lower harmonization, but once again, I'm still plugging in by the root, so that's a G note. And then I can play that, which is from that shape. But instead of that note, it's right here also. It's a B note. So you can play that instead. But once again, it's based on that root right there. So that's G major here. Same chord. Same arpeggio too. Within those, there's those cool embellishments. then also finding the root on the B string is how I could also plug in whatever scale I need. You know, right now we're in major, so I can see that root and plug in the G major pentatonic right here. Once again, I'm still visualizing all these different things around that B string root. Now, if you're in a key, for instance, the progression that I was just playing over was a G major chord to a C major chord, but I didn't move, I stayed there. You can play when something's in a key, like for instance, the key of G major, G chord, C chord, D chord, E minor, A minor, the one G major pentatonic works over the whole thing but I could also take it and outline the chords as well by moving the shape for C major. And then C.
So that's all still off the B string root, but there's more, there's full minor stuff. That was all real sweet and major. Let's just go, let's go minor. I'm gonna delete this loop. We'll do something completely different. Let's do uh, B minor. Well, along the B string, it's the open B. So, you know, what do we do from there? Nothing, but we go up to the 12th fret B and we can play once again off the B root, a minor voicing. Just this little three finger shape here by finding the root on the B string. So this would be a little B minor triad right now. And I found it by the B string roots. So watch, if I just loop a B minor chord, you're gonna hear that that matches up with it. So watch this, let's see. I'll go to F sharp minor. Oh, we're getting sad. So here's B minor right here, that's the B note. F sharp's right there. And so that would be in the key of B minor. So even though I know those two shapes, I could also just play B minor pentatonic over both chords in either position, but if it was right here, I decided to use wah because I was wanting to mix it up. But once again, when you find the root on the B string, there's the minor tri triad right there, but you can see beautifully this little box of the minor B minor pentatonic. So that's a really cool little move. Instead of playing the pentatonic where you just land on the single root note, if it's more minor than blue, than like a dominant seven, instead of hitting that root, you could play that minor triad. So right, that was B minor, but if all of a sudden I said no, instead of B minor, I wanted it to be a B7. Now I'm not playing the root on the B string anymore. I'm playing the seven, but I'm still locating it by the B string root. So that's B7. Here's B major. You could just do the regular D minor shape for B minor there. Or you could do that inversion. So let's say E minor chord, A minor chord, B minor, A minor, E minor.
right, that was a lot of stuff to cover. But remember, it's just all ways that you can compartmentalize different concepts. The B-string, it's good. Anyway, I appreciate your support, you guys. Let me know other stuff that you'd like to see in the comments below. Would love for you to subscribe to the channel. Would love for you to go to my website, martymusic.com, sign the newsletter, check out the courses. Thanks again. Hope to see you real soon.